the Sports Commission and the Provo Amateur Basketball Federation is now embarking on the high school basketball tournament. It is the second for the country, but the first for the Federation. Senior Development Officer at the Sports Commission, Judith Robinson, said seeing that the Federation is in full swing, they will be directly responsible for the tournament. The Sports Commission always hosts the development basketball program leading up to the championship and this will be our second year. However, this year where the Provo Basketball Association have been formed, they will be pay playing a major part in this event. Um, they're expecting to start on the 7th of October, which is next week, Thursday. We will be starting with two games, um, but we will have one of the games, and then we will have an opening, and then we will have a second game. The tournament serves as a preparation for the big inter-high school championships in December and is a development program put in place. Our aim from last year when we started it to have not only the schools but even the, um, the kids themselves have some kind of development leading up to our tournament. And I think last year was a success. We, we were unable to finish it but we saw success out of that because the coaches themselves not only having to um, have a game or such to play for them to see exactly what their students, their athletes can provide for December. This tournament will be among the high schools in Providence Alley's. However, Robinson noted that the Sports Commission have also put in place a development program in the other family islands as well. This year, what we did, because the same question was asked, what about the other islands? This year, what we have developed in the islands, because each of them have just one high school, what we have recommend is that we do a development meet with the school houses. For instance, in south, we have three houses in the high school. North, we have three houses, and in Grand Turk, we have four. What our sports officers, along with the PE teachers, supposed to be doing is to develop a program in such you have the same kids competing against each other but instead of here in Providence Islands competing against school they're competing against each other in the houses and from that development meet the teacher or the coach can then select his overall team for December. There are a lot of teams getting on board for this year's tournament which shows a positive sign for the December championships. The teams that are participating this year, we don't have all of the schools in Providencia Alice. Um, some of them are not there because of the school opening and the school was short of teachers and we're not ready to get the kids ready for this 12, well it will be eight weeks now, but they will be ready for December. However, we have Clement Howell would have their A and B team. We have Maranatha High, British Collegiate, and we have the school that is at the Ed Gollett Gott and Youth Center, which is the TCI Middle School. They would be participating for the first time, and we're hoping to see them also in December. But this tournament will run until the last week of November, and it will be every Tuesday and Thursday starting at 4 o'clock here at the Gustavus Library. So we're hoping to see whatever schools are participating, we're hoping to see some talent out of that. And the schools themselves, hopefully that from what they're seeing, can either develop their team more for December. The tournament will officially open this Thursday and games will continue every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon at the Gustavus Library Sports Complex. For WIV for Sports, I'm Tian Thomas.